what is up YouTube and welcome to this Supergirl video. So if you're new to the channel, please do drop a subscribe if you enjoyed the rest of this video. And also please do leave a like. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes. That would be awesome. So it's a long way until we get Supergirl back. But I thought I would do a video which I have wanted to post since the end of Supergirl Season 2. Which was one hell of a finale. Now obviously it has been some time since that. But I wanted to talk about the Legion of Superheroes. Now it has been very very heavily hinted that the Legion of Superheroes will actually be returning or be making its debut on TV here on Supergirl. So it would be really awesome to see these cool characters on the show, to be honest. And interestingly, Melissa has actually said, well, the girl who plays Supergirl on the TV show, has said that the ring or the Legion of Superheroes is definitely coming to the show but she doesn't know when so what does that actually mean and how were they coming into the show so if you remember when barry went through the or went to multiple dimensions in the flash well he was actually seeing the ring for the legion of superheroes which is what we saw in supergirl and it is also being heavily heavily focused on I mean, there was one episode near the, towards the end of season two of Supergirl where it literally zoomed in on the Legion of Superheroes ring and then zoomed onto Monel. I mean, could we honestly not have been more obvious with that? Monel has also said the word Grief in the Superman Lives episode of it was directed by Kevin Smith. That is a well-known phrase of Monel and the Legion of Superheroes as well. So it looks like all signs are pointing to the Legion of Superheroes. Now the origin of Monel may have changed somewhat, but the kind of death of him or him leaving the show is kind of similar. So, well, what happens is we have Monel land on Earth back in way, 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 way back in time in the comics history, and then he is convinced that he's a Kryptonian. But our lad Superboy is not convinced by this and tricks him by handing him a load of what is perceived as kryptonite. But it does actually poison him. So it wouldn't have poisoned him if it was real kryptonite because he wasn't a Kryptonian. But this was something that was made all of lead. And as we know, Daxamites are allergic to the old lead, of course. So what then happens is, well, Monel is sent to the Phantom Zone where or he will return when they can solve his problem, his dilemma of being allergic to lead, which leads us to the 30th century, where we see the Legion of Superheroes. Now, the Legion of Superheroes are actually based in obviously the 30th century they are a group of people who kind of idolize superboy they think he is great they love him and they set about creating their own super team because the galaxy needs a lot of people and a lot of people to keep it safe now they go back and forth between the the current time and of course the 30th century which would make a lot of sense so what actually happened to Monel? He left and went into this weird kind of portal, which I I really do think it is obvious that this is the Phantom Zone because that is kind of similar, very similar as to what Kara went through and what we've seen in the show on Supergirl as well. So I think he is in the Phantom Zone and then I think he probably might be put forward to the future and is there in the 30th century and will then join the Legion of Superheroes who are set up in the future. Hopefully we do see Saturn Girl. We know that Rain is coming to Supergirl as well. So I'm not too sure how big of a thing or how big this season will actually focus on the Legion of Superheroes. Because Monel is completely gone, isn't he? He's gone from the Earth and obviously Kara is very, very upset about that. So I'm not too sure how they will bring the Legion of Superheroes. Will this be a kind of plot where we have things take place on 
Earth, and then will they take place over on in in the future with Legion of Superheroes, or are they simply just going to make this as a different race or a different kind of part in the galaxy in space, as opposed to it being in the future? And curiously, the ring is already there, which would hint towards that Superman has possibly worked with the Legion of Superheroes, and we know, or he knows, just who they actually are, and can contact them, perhaps. So maybe we could actually see Superman kind of save mon El and get them to find him, or something like that. I know it's a long shot, but I think that would be really, really cool. I think having kind of cuts to him in the future, or where he actually is, working with the Legion of Superheroes, would be really, really cool. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think the Legion of Superheroes will be good? Do you think them being added to the show will actually be a great addition? Because there are so, so many different people we can actually have. And the Legion of Superheroes are a huge, huge thing over in the DC Rebirth, considering the Saturn Girl, no one remembers or knows who she is. And she is in Arkham Asylum. So I think we could have a sort of JSA thing like we had in Legion of, or Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. So let me know what you think. Do you think this could actually work? Or is it just going to be rubbish? I'll see you soon and goodbye.